begin tonight with a surprise for the family of a green country hero who gave his life to save them from a fire. His wife and children were left with nothing but the clothes on their backs. Tonight, News Channel 8's Sam Gelfan saw a community come together to bring them a Christmas that they'll never forget. Two months ago, we introduced you to David and Maddie Badgewell and their two children on the autism spectrum. David served two tours of Iraq, but he gave his life where he should have felt the safest, saving his family from a house fire. I have moments where I break down. I have moments where it's hard. Um, and I think about David every day, but it's one of those things where grief is a part of life and we have to learn how to live with it sometimes. David's heroic sacrifice left Maddie to take care of two special needs children by herself. Well, you'd think she'd be by herself. Not after J.D. Dennis heard her story. Uh, right off the bat, we knew that it was a family that we needed to support this, this holiday season because we knew on uh, dire need they were you know, losing everything. Wounded veterans of Oklahoma and the city of Sand Springs want Maddie to know she's not alone. You know, this small gesture that we could do is just you know, give them hope during the holidays and, and uh, let them know that we care. We got their six and uh, let them know that they're not forgotten. A community coming together for a parade of lights, gifts, and holiday cheer. They had a feeling Maddie and the kids would appreciate it. I'm sure there's going to be emotion between a lot of people, uh, even my volunteers, my helpers. Uh, Santa Claus even gets emotional. Of course, Maddie was kept completely in the dark. At first it was distant, and so you didn't think anything of it, and then it got closer and closer, and then you're like, oh my gosh, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> People do charitable things because it feels good. Dennis and the other volunteers knew it would. But seeing smiling faces and tears of joy from a family that's gone through the lowest of lows is the greatest feeling of all. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> In Sand Springs, Sam Gelfand, News Channel 8.